The question that we are going to discuss in this video is why the silicon steel material is used as the core of electrical machine. So to get the answer, let's understand this thing first. First of all, you should tell me that what is the purpose of core? If you know the answer, then write that thing in comments below. The first purpose of the core is to provide mechanical support to the winding placed on that core. And the another purpose is to help establish the strong magnetic field. So these are the two purposes of the core in electrical machine. Now for any material, the higher the permeability, the higher the magnetic field produced by it. So for our purpose, we should use the material with the highest permeability. If you don't know the permeability, then it is the ability of material to establish the magnetic field. Basically, there is a term known as relative permeability is used everywhere to compare the permeability of one material with another material. If we talk about the relative permeability of iron, that is around 6000. And instead of iron, if we talk about the permeability of silicon steel material, then it varies from 2000 to 35000. Now this variation is basically due to the percentage of silicon material used to form the silicon steel. Now this higher number of relative permeability makes it a good choice to serve our purpose. Hey, I am going to prepare a complete animated course on DC machine. If you are interested in that course then keep checking the pinned comment of this video or all the other videos of our channel. Please keep checking the pinned comments of all the other videos of this channel. Now if we talk in another terms, then there are two types of losses occurs in the core material. The first is eddy current loss and the second one is hysteresis loss. What is eddy current loss? Basically it is the loss that happens because of the current flowing through the core material. How to reduce eddy current loss? That we have discussed in our previous video. If you want to explore that thing, then you can check out this video to understand how to reduce the eddy current loss. Now here, the silicon content in silicon steel material helps in increasing the overall resistance of the core, which helps in reducing the eddy current. Now if we talk about the hysteresis loss, it occurs because of the magnetization and demagnetization of core material. And that takes place because of the change in the direction of the current. As the magnetizing force increases, magnetic flux also increases. But when the magnetizing force decreases, flux does not decrease the same way. Here, to simplify the understanding, you can understand as the current as magnetizing force. So when we have reduced magnetizing force to zero, but still the flux is not reduced to zero. So in order to reduce the flux density to zero, we need to magnetize the material in reverse direction. And then the same process will take place again. So the relation between magnetizing force H and the flux density B can be expressed as the BH curve or the hysteresis loop. So here the area under the hysteresis loop or the BH curve shows the amount of energy that requires to magnetize and demagnetize the material which is not resulting in any fruitful work but ultimately that energy is being wasting and that is known as the hysteresis loss. So now how we can reduce the hysteresis loss? To understand that thing, let me show you the hysteresis loop of two material. The first one is the hysteresis loop area of iron material, whereas the second one is the hysteresis loop area of silicon steel material. You can easily see the difference between hysteresis area of iron and silicon steel. The hysteresis area of silicon steel material is much smaller than the hysteresis area of iron material. And that is why silicon steel material is preferred over the iron as a core material of electrical rotating machine. If you have enjoyed the video, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel.